blast. The week start every Sunday, though. We about to meet up at the rap shed with some Buffalo Wild Wings. I had to come pick up my son. Waiting outside his house. That boy played too much. I've been sitting out here for... Oh, I'm at the wrong house. Finally, kiddo was taking his sweet time getting out here. We got places to be, kiddo. <laughs> the one you pick up? What a pretty day, man. We got a, we're chilling in the pool. We got volleyball behind me, if you can see it. The one on his nonsense. Tell him what's up, boy. And the pandas are getting blown out. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Look at this. What a, we got the, the, the hot dogs, the Gatorade. It don't matter because the panthers are getting blown out. Oh, what's up, son? How you enjoy yourself? <laughs> yeah, you are. So finally, after what, 20 minutes, I got my kids back yes. in the car. Back in the car so we can finally leave this place. They're gonna get some discipline when we get home. That, that's, all I'm gonna say. that's all I'm gonna say. We live from the car, sitting outside DeWan's house. He won't get out, cause he just missed me so much. You know, we had so much fun today. He don't want to get out the car, but it's time for him to leave. So we'll see you later. <laughs> Bro, hey vlog, hey, this the Oh, yeah. yeah. You know that's not going in the vlog. I know it ain't. That's why I said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you recording for no reason right now. That's crazy. Why are you close the umbrella? Get out of the car. Hold it. Pieces, bro? Hold it. No, you know that's no candy, bro. All right, all right. Since you want to play, I got, I got an idea. I got an idea. After getting some R and R with my brothers, I had time to catch up with my family from long ago. Dude, I had to make an appearance. I had a dentist appointment this morning. I, I found my son, bro. My long lost kid. I found him at, at battle. They got a, a volleyball tournament or something going on. I don't really know, bro. Kickball tournament on me. It, it's a fundraiser. You know I had to pop out. Because yeah, where I come, everybody go up. Is that Justin? It was definitely good to connect and relax with everyone. Especially because I knew my next location was heading to the gym to see what I should do about this. Helmet to the knee. I don't know what I did to my thumb, but it's like twice as big. We are back at Excel, everyone's favorite gym. Cause I had to get my hand fixed. I got, I got a sprain through. No, you had to get in the vlog too. Braylon's shoulders still ruined. And yeah, I, I look so dope. cool. Cause I got the one blue and black glow I can wear on my other hand. Like we're coming off win after win after win after win after win. I think that's five. But man, every week we had like two or three people go down. We're getting Travis back this week. We're getting Nash back. We're still missing our DN, offensive linemen. It, 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 it's as much as plugging holes in the sinking boat as it is anything else. Staying healthy is 75% of this battle because if we have too many more people go down, that's the season. Like, what are we going to be able to do? We have three games left of the regular season and then there's playoffs. Thankfully, though, Right, we got help. We had, we've had some younger guys step up in a major way. Uh, our dude, Jake Pickens, playing left guard now. We got Langston stepping in to start a defensive end. We're, this is a whole team effort. Like we literally need everybody this year to practice. So, I'm sitting in the library right now, 
Sorry, I'm doing a vlog. Apparently, this number five dude is really like that. Look at him. Cool here as well. Feels good. Feels great. Yeah. Out of the gun is Ratcliffe. Going to be a sweep. How about an option pass? Oh! Flat has his man. It's Murdoch who's open. Inside the 50. Little cutback action. Inside the 30. How about this start for Versailles? All the way down to the 20. To the throw the this is supposed to be the best player on our team. Year, had a lot of success doing so. Radcliffe's not afraid to air it out. We'll see if they can move these sticks. Second and long. Here's Radcliffe on second. Into the flat. He has Murdoch. Nice pattern. Has good yardage. Close to first down yard. So not too shabby. I did lift. Also, barely. It's raining outside. You know what that means. We got our boy Bully Juice up on the screens. He's, we love Bully Juice around here, right, Colby? Don't we love Bully Juice? Oh, yeah. we, we love that guy. He's our favorite. I'm trying to get like him. Start by putting on my clothes. You ready? Check this out. I woke up like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting on my mom to get here to tie my ties up. I still don't know how to do this thing. Tie, tied. Let's do this. Mom, 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 mom. Guess what? 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 You don't have to work anymore. I made it out the hood. I made it in the honor society. We're gonna be set for life, mom. Um, we made it. We made it. Par party in my house tonight. <laughs> no, it's for the vlog. I love football. I do. In fact, I'd say I love football more than the average person, but these mornings, these mornings when the sun is down and the breeze is in, these mornings make me question whether or not this relationship is healthy. The only thing willing me past mornings like this is the fact that I've got food waiting for me right inside my classroom fridge. Everyone's like, man, I bet it's weird having a teacher that's your family in the school, right? Cause they, they gotta make sure you don't get in trouble. I don't care, dude. One, I don't do nothing. Two, I got the fridge, bro. That, mine, all mine, man. The pros outweigh the cons for sure, without a doubt. Is that the president? Why are you here by yourself? For the video, of course. One video, oh no. <laughs> God bless America. God bless America. I'm going home. Sleep well, Mr. President. Nothing else to do, team dinner's over. Oh, that's what we're looking for. You know what time it is. Cue the music or whatever kids are doing nowadays. Man, I tell you, it's impossible grabbing stuff with this uh, little claw I got on. We got newly minted defensive end Langston Hall joining us for the show today. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, of course, man. Welcome. You, you earned it.
So, be real with me, man. How does it feel moving up? My first game that I got to start in, it was, everything was way faster, everything was way more physical. Like, the JV, I could just sit there and hold this little D and just read the play and go to that. But I actually have to make sure I'm firing off nice and I actually, everything has to be way more physical and faster. Yes, man, the game speed, like, increases ridiculously. And that's at every level, too, right? Like, you moving from eighth grade to your freshman year, it felt the same way, kind of. The game speed is just going to keep going up. But, uh, nah, man, we commend you for taking on that challenge. And you played the whole game at varsity, and now you got another one this week. But, um, let's backtrack before we get there. Langston Hall, number four, sophomore defensive end. Uh, that's a varsity forearm right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm like that. Speaking of which, how they, if be honest, how they accepted you in the UT? Still get the JV jokes. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh. I'm the JV kid still. Yeah, you thought we were going to let that slide? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, nah, I have respect for you. That's they know my business. They know my business. <laughs> but I know the work that you put in because I was there. Uh, I, was, I was able to witness most of it. it is. It really is a struggle, especially for you being a sophomore. Like, these are grown men you're playing against now, like 18-year-old kids. Man, um, speaking of playing against, we have a game tomorrow, dude. Yes, sir. What's your prediction? What? How do you think it's going to play out? Uh, we're going to turbo clock them. Yeah. I, I think it's going to. It, it won't be, like, it'll be a challenge, but once we get everything together, we realize how they play. We, we develop easily, we yes. adapt easily. The way we play as a team was, um, I think just worked too good. We've been getting better and better every week, right? Yes, easily, obviously. Like, Pleasant Hill from now, dude, two different teams. A hundred percent, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, a lot of people like you, right, we're in mid-season form, people are getting hurt, are getting the opportunity to step up. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Mr. Uh, Varsity Defense Man, for, no, but like you said, you used to be a bigger kid, you shut that down immediately when it wasn't yeah. working. You, you slimmed yourself out. You're playing defensive end now. And uh, just like anything, it's been ups and downs, right? Yeah. You progressed. You've fallen on the depth chart. You, um, through it all, you climbed your way up, and the opportunity presented itself, and length is the name on the depth chart. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that work paid off? Yeah, definitely, because, like, Working with you over the summer taught me a lot, definitely. And it, it definitely hurt me when I was up there, and the next thing you know, I just randomly fell down. I didn't know why, but I kept working harder. I, I'm glad that it helped. And I think that's a good lesson, too, for anybody, right? Um, he's working towards a goal. He doesn't get that goal initially for who knows why, right? Instead of putting his head down and shutting himself down, kept working and he stayed on his horse and now he's in that spot that he was looking for the whole time. Which, um, I didn't tell you about this question beforehand, but I'm curious, right? So you're in a, a predicament some people would call unfavorable, right? You're number three behind DJ Westlack, number <laughs> 50 offers, and um, I transfer in and I take that second spot. And um, you're sitting behind us two. <laughs> How frustrating is that? I'm going to tell you, when that first like uh, summer workout you came to, yes. I was a little bummed out. <laughs> I, I had a good feeling about this year. And right. the next thing you know, Tyson Ellison battle comes to this school. All state, tight end. Like, Man. <laughs> yeah. I, no, because I, I always wonder, because um, obviously you wouldn't say in my face right then that you were bummed out about it. But like, yeah, because you, 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 you helped me out a lot, so. If I was in your shoes, I'd have been frustrated too. Yeah. But um, yeah, capitalize on your opportunities. Kept working, and now we're playing across from each other. Like, who could have guessed this at the beginning of the year? That's awesome for you. Now by four. <laughs> you, you like staring into my eyes? Hey, great talking to you, dude. I'll see you on the field tomorrow. Best of luck. That's you the man, man.
Get up and leave. Oh. It's a tradition. <laughs> Get up. There we go. Perfect. Tell me about the tradition. I know, bro. I just I, I had to catch somebody, and you're the new guy. So. <laughs> Boy couldn't get enough of me. Right. Finished the interview. <laughs> Got in the car with me. You know how it is. Keep talking. I think he's trying to buy me dip. You, you got a white hoodie. This wouldn't be too nice. Keep talking. I mean, uh, Winston, celebrity D. Lyman is allowing me to take him home. 